In the middle of the coronavirus crisis, many hospitals across the country are having to cut staff because they're not making enough money. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is at Sarasota Memorial Hospital where workers are now being furloughed. Sarasota Memorial has more than 30 COVID-19 patients inside, but despite that, they're having to cut hours and even furlough some staff members. The hospital says it's because COVID-19 precautions cause cancellations of all non-emergency procedures, treatments, and appointments. Sarasota Memorial says last month they only did half of scheduled surgeries and they lost $16 million in revenue. We're learning staff cuts are starting to happen at hospitals throughout the Bay Area and tens of thousands of hospital workers and healthcare staff throughout the country are facing the same issue. Sarasota Memorial declined an interview today, but in a letter to staff on Friday, the CEO gave this statement in part. COVID-19 has cost SMH millions of dollars. We must take greater action now to sustain our ability to care for our community throughout and after this crisis. Sarasota Memorial says they are not laying off any frontline staff. They say more than half of their 7,000 workers are in non-clinical areas. The hospital says they plan to take even a greater financial hit in April and May, but they plan to have all staff back when this is all over. In Sarasota, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.